So for this classification section, where uh, the, the number of questions that you get asked are really limited to pretty much um, two different types of questions. So you will either be asked about plants, or you'll be asked about um, animals. So we've got a couple of plant questions for you today. And I used to hate plants as well, but then um, after after a while, if, as long as you memorize like the basic structure of it, they're actually really straightforward to get good marks in. So for this first question, we've got a short question. So we're expecting around about four points to get uh, maximum marks. And we have to compare the phyla of Bryophyta as well as Andrewspermophyta. And as soon as you see the word compare or distinguish in this case, then we want to just draw a table because that's the easiest way to approach this. And it reminds you that you have to talk about both Bryophyta as well as the Andrewspermophyta. So first of all, first off, Bryophyta are mosses. They're kind of like the little things that cover the the rocks as you go into a into a stream. So they're very small kind of organisms. Whereas Angiospermophyta, they're your great big eucalyptus trees if you're in Australia or other um, or other trees if you're in different parts of the world as well. So in regards to Bryophyta, let's talk about the size first. So the size, these are small. They kind of go up to about um, about approximately seven centimeters. Whereas Angiospermophyta can be very large. and then sometimes all the way up to 100 meters in size. They can be extremely tall, especially in the southern parts, um, in, in Tasmania, in Australia. So that's, uh, that's about the size. Let's talk about the root structures. So th these guys actually have no root structures. Uh, well, they don't have any roots, pardon me. Um, in instead, they have rhizoids, which are kind of like a little, um, little small tendrils, which seem similar to roots, but actually different in structure. Whereas angiospermophyta, they're very advanced. A for angiospermophyta, A for advanced. So they are, they're very advanced and they have a complex root structure themselves. Okay. Um, in regards to um, reproduction, so bryophyta, they reproduce via spores. So they actually send off little balls of dust which, which, which uh, float around in the air and then they settle down which causes the reproduction of them. Whereas angiospermophyta, they actually reproduce via seeds and fruit. So if you have an apple or an apple tree, then that is actually um, an angiospermophyte. Um, that's in the phyla of angiospermophytum. Reproduce uh, via seeds in fruit. Good. And I guess the final thing, well, like the easiest things that you could talk about um, is the fact that bryophyta are non-vascular. So what that means is that they don't have the the xylem and the phloem um, that angiospermophyta do. It's kind of like the, the blood vessels of, uh, of a plant. They don't have that. Um, but in comparison, angiospermophyta do. Okay, so here are four, <coughs> here are four basic ones. Um, however, you'd also have, you could also talk a bit about angiospermophyta having ovaries as well. Um, those will be a few extra points that you could put in, but these will be the four basic points that I'll put down um, in order to, for me to get full marks. So the second one is um, a long question, and we essentially have to compare not only Bryophyta, not only Angiospermophyta, but also the rest, Philocinophyta and Coniferophyta. So we're going to essentially draw like a table as well. So Bryophyta, Philocinophyta, Um, Conifera phyta and Angiosperma phyta. So remember that we're describing the different characteristics here. So we don't have to compare each one individually. However, what we can do is that we can compare as well. It's not that we don't need we don't need to, but we can. So in this case in order to get four quick and easy marks for this, and we're, talking, we're going to talk about the reproduction structures. What do we say about Bryophyta? They reproduce via spores. Philocinophyta also reproduce via spores on the underside of their leaves as well.
conifera phyta? Well, they actually reproduce via cones. So conifera phyta means they reproduce via cones. So just remember that. And finally, angiospermophyta, well, they reproduce via seeds and fruit, that we said previously. Good. So now let's talk a bit about, um, we talk about the reproduction structures. Now let's talk about the more physical structures. So when we, ever, when we first think about plants, we often think about roots, leaves, and stems. So what was the first thing? Have you seen a moss with roots and leaves? Well, we talked about how it didn't have roots, it had rhizoids. So let's talk, put, put that down first. But it also doesn't have any stem or leaves, so no stems or leaves. How about Phyllocinophyta? Well, remember F? So F for Phyllocinophyta, F for ferns as well. So they definitely have leaves. Got those nice branching out patterns of leaves as well as roots and, and stems. And it's the same for Conifera phyta and Angiospermophyta, although we could describe a bit more about the, the Conifera phyta in terms of their, um, their leaves. So they usually have what they're described as needle shaped leaves. If you've ever seen um, those those, uh, those Christmas-like trees, you've got those pine needles, don't you? They're not like the traditional uh, leaf shape that I've drawn just down there. It's a bit more of um, a small needle-like uh, description. Have needle-shaped leaves. But then, as well, they also have, also have um, stems as well as roots. And same for Angiospermophyta. So don't feel afraid to just write, repeat the different descriptions that you've done for the previous uh, phyla as well, um, because say Angiospermophyta as well as Phyllocinophyta, they both have these arrays of uh, roots, stems, and leaves. And look, that'll get your basic eight marks, hopefully. Um, however, you'd also want to talk a bit more about um, you also want to talk a bit more about uh, anything else that you can think about. Remember with Bryophyta, um, the one thing that I can remember about them is that they are non-vascular, so they don't have blood vessels. So non-vascular. Um, for Angiospermophyta, how do they reproduce? They also they reproduce using structures called ovaries, which produce the seeds, and those seeds go into fruit. Okay, so I mean, there you have it. There's an array of about 10 different points that you can write down. Um, not my forte in regards to uh, these particular types of questions, but it's uh, definitely a basis for where you can start from. There are plenty more YouTube videos for you to check out. Just click on the links below. If you'd like to download the questions as well as the answers, make sure to like us on Facebook first. And finally, if you'd like to find out how I got a 7 in high-level IB biology, make sure to check out our website in the bottom right-hand corner. Thanks.